What it do, fellas? All right, so today we got some stuff from Diodynamics. Let's go check it out. Some instruction stuff. This is actually mine. It is the light bar stage series. So we're gonna check that out. And let me just show you the unboxing real quick. All right, so here is the Diodynamics box. I already cut it to make it things faster. You get the main wiring harness. You get a little switch right here. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll keep it in there. Brackets. The little fuse thing, so you can have your fuse hooked up to your head of fuse. And then more of the brackets. And let's show off the stage series. So these are supposed to be really bright, proof for rallying. Hardware for the product. And here is the light itself. Everything's always, it's just really well packaged and well made from Dion Dynamics. I think everyone kind of expects that quality for them. So you don't have to worry about if this is gonna burn out or it feels cheap. Check that out right there. Initially, I, I thought about removing this lens and painting it black, but the way it's made, it's already pretty dark. Cause I'm trying to keep it, I'm trying to keep things stealthy. So to install this, it's actually pretty easy. All you gotta do is remove the front bumper and then like two bolts um, for the brackets or three bolts. So removing the bumper will be the hardest thing but it's not a problem for us, so let's just get it. Check it, check it. We got the front bar, front bumper removed. Uh, I got some of my fog lights still plugged in. So I gotta, I gotta check that out. Other than that, it's actually really easy to remove the front bumper. What we're gonna be really messing with though, is just these bolts right here. So I don't even think I need to unplug those wires down there. Um, yeah, so this is all we need access to. You're gonna use this bolt right here. One, two, three. And that's where we're gonna get the brackets off. All right. So, let's see what we have. We have light number one. Dude, these plugs are freaking nice. They are nice. Uh, light dose. Kind of have to bust out the dynamics. These directions, props to die dynamics, make it really easy. The people who design these little instruction things are nice. And you can watch the video online too. If you guys want more of their style of installation, it'll probably be a little bit more thorough. Gosh, damn. So it should be something like this. All right, so I dripped kind of hard. There's actually two types of screws. There's like a, there's this one, and there's also a thinner one. You want to use the fatter one, obviously. Um, as far as using a washer, 
I think I'm gonna use this crusher. So we got the things loosely mounted. I took the plastic shot off this one. I'm just gonna leave it on so I can bang it up a little bit. And you just pretty much wanna smooth it in here. Get that 12 mil. One thing I don't like about this bumper is this, this foam piece for me and my other friend's car, so I guess. Just it kind of just flaps around. All right, so we got the bracket right here, and let's just get it set up on the 12 mil. So let's prepare that. Good old 12. Let's bolt this bad boy on. You want to have the angle up, so. It got the clearance. Right, a lot of wires, a lot of wires, but it's pretty easy. Red and black goes with red and black, easy enough. This one right here is this little, little dial dynamics box. It goes into your low beams, which is this green. And you have the 15 right here, which is your high beams. And that will make it so when your headlights are on high beams, it'll turn it on. Um, yeah, so I'll, I will wire up real quick and I'll show you guys how it looks. Oh, with the included things, you have to make your fuses have this little tab right here. You guys, I don't know if you can pick that up, it's kind of hard to see. And so when you put the fuse down, you can put those two little socket things so it can go male to female pop. All right. I have everything plugged in. Should be a green light. Both connectors are connected. Everything. A few moments later. All right, so we're gonna test drive. My headlights are a little bit pointed high. These are the Subi Speed headlights with the fogs on. Let me turn off my fogs. So my fog lights, my head low beams are actually pointing a little bit high, but um, shouldn't really take away from the experience. So these were the low beams, nice and sharp, white pattern, very clean, nice output. Now with the dial dynamics, let me show you. So let's look at that garage. Boom. It fills the whole house and it's clean. Oh, a little bit lower so they can see the um, thing. Yeah, so look at that dial dynamics. That house is literally lit up. Off. Low beams. These are my highs. And now these are the dial dynamics. Bright. I do not recommend driving these with oncoming traffic. They're way too bright. So if there's any oncoming traffic or if someone's, if you're behind somebody, do not drive with these lights. They're too bright. But you can really tell it's like a spotlight. So it's really, the light is really focused. It's not, it doesn't, spread out that much. It's focused right in the middle. So, so technically, if there is oncoming traffic with that guy, he does not see the beam pattern because it's focused right in front of you. It's a giant circle. But 
still, I don't recommend it. And here's with it off of the streets. Here's with it on. Dude, that poor guy right there for a split second, he was blinded. As far as output and brightness, I don't know if you can tell, but the it's as bright as the low beams. Today is um, a little bit cloudy. Let me turn it off because there's someone coming. But it does cut through like fog pretty good. beams so this is not something that you're the lights you use often you could the cool thing about this is you could angle it a certain way so you can angle these down um, but the way I have it are like my high beams so that's why I have it wired the way I have it and it just throws light so far ahead and these are worth my low beams just install my CB speed headlights these are with them that th they're already pretty high, so if my low beams are a little bit lower like normal, which I will change, it's just perfect. <laughs> oh wow, I, I love these lights. Perfect for like, if you're on a street with not a lot of lights, maybe on the mountains or something. There it is, Dial Dynamics Stage Series Lights, links below. It's really hidden in the pictures from the websites, it didn't look as hidden but they look really stealthy. I mean, when the light hits it, when it's not shining, let's say it's in the morning, then certain angles, if the light gets in it just way, the right way, you can see it, but it's actually really stealthy. I'll post some pictures of my car right here, here and here. You can see it's still stealthy, so it doesn't look too ricey. Sometimes the chrome in the grill, I can see how it can take away from it, but it looks good the way it is. But I do have it wired to a switch, so I gotta make sure I turn it off. So here are my, here's my little switch. You kids probably can't see that. So I have, you know, little switches right here. But yeah, go get it, it's dope. If you need the light, I love it. Just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Peace out.